Hey, hey, what's up? It's your boy here. Now, this ain't live. It's going to be a pre-recorded video that I'm going to do. But anyway, what I've done now, I've decided I'm going to change for my PFM, which is 20 hertz in the truck on my upper center, and bring it back to a factory setting. This is the epicenter that came out of the truck. So how you change the PFM module is very, very simple. You take these screws off. It's very simple, but you must be delicate. Because there's a lot of sensitive, perfectly aligned components inside of here. So you take the top off here. And when you take the top off, that's where you're going to see the base output jumper. All right. D, which is able to amplify the work less, all right, because you got a strong signal going out. I got mine at 7.5. My amp, my amp takes 10, up to 10, yeah, up to 10 volts. Uh, the ground oscillator for to get a whining noise, you can change the jumper here. Your balance uh, inputs, you can balance them or unbalance them, however you want to do it, just by moving these jumpers here. And here is the PFM. Now, this PFM, now this this is a chip. This is removable. Check this out. You got to be delicate, though. And here we are, the PFM module. And as you can see, there's a number written. Is this number upside down? Yeah. I don't know if y'all gonna, gonna let y'all see it. It might. 20 hertz. PFM. So, this is the one that's in the truck. Now, I'm finna take mine and go back up a little higher. So, this one, I'm gonna take this one out of the one that's inside my garage. Well, I'm gonna check. So, I might just take this one out of the garage. And just switch it over. <laughs> Yeah. I just wanted to show y'all this on the film. About these features here. This, these are the originators of the base restore, not enhancer. Restore. Some people got on one guy said, man, you said re you must don't know what create means. Recreate. Uh to create means you are the originator. Something wasn't there and you put it there. Those are the producers who make the music. They have created the bass and harmonics inside the track. When they record it and they put it on the listening, whether it's a CD, uh, nobody used cassette tapes no more. Uh, DDs, uh, DV drive, DD, whatever you use, some of it is lost. And that's how you're able to get people like uh, uh, DJ Hertz. Here, rush the cows. They're doing exactly the same thing. They're not changing the, the beat on its own. They're not putting their bass tone to it. They're looking at what's there and looking at the harmonics that were lost and restoring them back. Re, R, E, R, to do again. So when on the on this device, it's not creating a, it's not making music. Okay, it's recreating the creating, bringing back. If you're going to recreate, that means you're going to do over. The create was the one who did it. The track, they created the bass track. When they was lost, some of the, the frequencies were lost in recording, you can't hear them. They're going to recreate, re-bring that back to its prior listing level. That's it. It's not adding the bass track. It's going to follow the same harmonic, same rhythm, same pitch as the rest of the music. But it's going to drop down an octave lower and bring those harmonics up, and you will hear them as bass. So if you have to say this uh, song has a 70 hertz, 80 hertz track, and you got a PFM trip chip like this, the 20 hertz. I say it's got a 60 hertz track, and you got a PMFM chip like this right here. And you turn the gauge, the knob on the, on the epicenter to the sweep. You turn the sweep to the left, so you want to restore frequencies going below if you have this chip. See, when I had this chip, I could turn this dial down to 27. I mean, turn the sweep. This, this, this. I'll show you right here. 
I could take the sweep, turn it back this way, and I would drop all the way down to 20 hertz because I had the PFM chip to make it drop even lower than when it comes factory. It comes factory, 33. So even if you turn this knob back there, you're not going to get that much of it centering because it only comes with, I think, 33 hertz PFM chip. Where's that chip at? Don't, right there. Okay, that little PFM chip, that little small chip right there. That enabled to go even lower as I got a 20. Now I'm finna take this factory setting, which is here, and I'm gonna show you there's a difference. You see that? This is the factory. You see how it looks different from the one I ordered? Gotta be careful with these little things. So this is the PFM module right here. You see? This is the 20FM. So just to show y'all, I'm going to take this one out. Got to be very careful. Ah, now, this is a factory PSFM. The black one is factory. And this here is the one you bought, 20FM. This is a factory. It drives down to 33 hertz. So I'm finna put this one back into the one in the truck. I could have just swapped them out real quick. Cause I want to I want just the effects. I don't want to I don't want to play that low, low no more because of the music. I'm trying to go for I've attained some of the goals I want to achieve. Now I want to change different goals. So I'm finna change my PFM chip and put put the factory setting back in. All right. Now when you're using larger subwoofers. They got this at 20, 25, and 30. I could have just went to 30 and got a little deeper lows, which I might do. I went down, I went down to 20. And I must say, that's a lot of information. I'm able to utilize my system and know how to operate my system accordingly. And I'm able to get the numbers that I want at the frequency levels that I want there. But that, I think I'm an intermediate user. Uh, but that's a lot of information for some eight inch subwoofers. So now what I'm going to do is just change it over, go back to a higher setting, and uh, buy from there. That's just what I want to do. But I just wanted to show you how simple it is, and what it looks like, and how everything is set up by making a little quick video of it. Please get at me if you need any closer. Uh, numbers 404-694-4818. Please listen responsibly. Peace.